Hello friends and welcome to FitSeva. So with this video, I want to pass a message for all those people who are in their midlife or about to enter midlife. So who are the right people for this video? Let me share some details on that. So those who are, those who have entered in their 30s or their 40s or about to reach middle age, this video will be the right content for them or those who are struggling to lose weight in the same age category they are unable to lose the weight or they feel that they have excess unhealthy weight or they have certain lifestyle problems like pre-diabetic or type 2 diabetic it could also be some problems related to obesity that is even high blood pressure they might be having some weakness or joint pain and no strength in the body so this video is specifically for these kind of people. Now let me share a story with you. There is a young man and he has a new bike. He is traveling at the speed of 80 kilometers per hour because he has a new bike which is very exciting. He is very enthusiastic about riding it very fast. Plus the road is empty for him. Now let's say he travels at the speed of 80 km per hour, that's very fast uh, and he travels continuously at that speed on the road because the road is empty, he doesn't care. Finally, all of a sudden at a blind, blind turning or at some point of time, that man sees a bus which is hardly few meters away, maybe three or four meters away from him. Suddenly he took a turn and he saw, saw the bus. Now, what will happen? At that point of time, at 80 kilometers per hour, if he thinks that I will apply the brakes to stop the bike and save myself, will that happen? What are the chances that this person will stay alive? And what are the chances that this person will not stay alive? The chances are very less of him staying alive maybe because he, he is wearing helmet or protective biker suit but still even if he stays alive what will be the condition of his body and his life after that now this is the important part yes he applies the brakes but still he crashes in the bus and let me tell you that this bus is nothing but the lifestyle diseases which we get at the middle life mid, mid life stage the speed at which he was traveling that is 80 kilometers per hour constantly that was the negligence to his fitness he was not at all bothered about slowing down his speed even before he saw the bus the protective gear which he was wearing, the helmet, by the biker suit and everything, that can be compared with the insurance. Even if someone has accidental insurance or wearing a suit which is very protective, but at the speed of 80 km per hour, if somebody crashes in the bike, what are the chances that the person will survive in the same physical state as he was earlier? The insurance might pay the hospital bills or the accidental loss but if the person loses a hand, loses a leg or has a lifelong disability, will that be worth the accident? Of course not. Will that be worth the insurance money? Of course not. He will not get, probably he will not get his own self uh, back the way it was earlier. And the brakes which he applied just few meters before the bus that is like taking late action for health. The message I want to pass from this example is people take action very late in the stage of their life when they see some problem coming up. Same happens with fitness. People's, people start 
thinking about exercise, thinking about diet and everything, once they start facing a problem, once the doctor tells them that there is a serious problem or they have diabetes or they have high blood pressure, they start thinking that now I need to take some action, which is already very late. There are certain things in your body which is going on internally, which you will not come to know immediately. But once the diagnosis is done, then a person comes to know. So taking late action can cause an accident like this. So what I want to say from this example is fitness may not be an urgency till it leads to an emergency. So in real life, what happens? There is a, in the midlife, when people get excess weight, blood pressure, type 2 diabetes, uric acid, uh, thyroid problems, which is very common. All these problems are very common nowadays and people relate that to age. Okay, I'm aging. That's why I'm getting this problem. No. Sleep apnea, high cholesterol, heart disease. These problems grow in the body and take their own time to develop. Maybe 10 years, 15 years, even from childhood. If you are on the wrong path. If you feel that fitness and taking care of your health is expensive. Or if a health professional or fitness trainer is charging high amount of money, you should see the numbers and cost of these things. Let me show you. Common medical treatments which people have to go through angioplasty for any blockage in the uh, arteries, dialysis, bypass surgery. If you see the cost of these things, 1 lakh 70,000, 4 lakh 32,000, bypass surgery, 3 lakh 25,000, one time treatment of stroke, 80,000, cancer. These I'm talking about the basics. I'm not talking about the uh, advanced treatments or all. And these costs will be different in different hospitals, obviously. Knee replacement, 2 lakhs. Type 2 diabetes annually costs you 22,000. That is only for the medicines. If there is more to it, then it will be more. These are the basic things. Now, if a person is not taking care of the health, I call these expenses as cost of ignorance. It is not that somebody could have avoided angiopla uh, could could have not avoided angioplasty. It is not that somebody could have not avoided dialysis. Everything can be avoided or the chances can be lower if you have taken care of your health in a better way. So now if you go back to the same story of the guy of the man who traveled at the speed of 80 kilometers per hour constantly without applying brakes or without slowing down. That guy needs to slow down. And somebody needs to tell him that how to enjoy the bike ride with a slow and steady speed and keeping eye on your road and uh, elsewhere so that you are vigilant about how you are driving in the same way your health and fitness you have to be uh, vigilant about what you are eating what exercise you are doing whom you are taking help from for fitness whether you are taking the fitness advice from the right person to whom you believe that is very important So basically you need to slow down. Now a typical fitness journey from a perspective of age. So you must have observed that till the age of 19 people are naturally thin, lean. They are not having any medical issues. They are eating everything but no major concern. The reason is your hormones of the body are very active in that age and it is saving you from a lot of problems. That's the reason you may not see any major concern at that time. But as and when you grow older, between the age of 20 to 29, you start seeing some problems, but you don't see it as a serious problem. Like for example, belly fat, insulin resistance, focus on career. So 
because you are focused on career you may ignore these problems no major health problems at that time but once you cross 30s you then we start blaming different factors oh i got married that's why i am uh, not taking care of my health that's why my physical activities are less uh, i have to take care of family that's why i am getting obese so you some of the things you you are assuming that it is going to happen and people accept the fact that i have to be fat i have to be unhealthy no you can very well take care of your health right from the beginning and that is how you will go on the perfect track so if you don't take care of uh, yourself at that age then you are coming to the more dangerous zone that is when you are 40 to 49 that is where obesity and metabolic syndrome causes more problems and that is where the reports uh, the diagnosis is done and you come to know that you are facing this problem like let's say high blood sugar that is one example and then you when you go above 50 it is very difficult to reverse the problems it is not that easy you can make the things difficult for yourself as well as the doctor as well as the fitness professional the things become difficult for all of them so now imagine a person who is of 60 65 kilos which is a good weight healthy weight is running around sitting standing and doing everything with the weight in his hand with 10 to 15 kilos whether his hand or her hand whatever and addition which is additional to the body weight how will that person feel if a 60 kilo person is given 20 kilos in his hand and ask we ask that person to move around that person it will be unbearable for that person to take that weight every time especially a person who has never done any exercise or anything the same thing happens when your body weight is excess to 15 kilos 20 kilos or even 30 kilos somebody is even more than that the same thing happens to your joints to your body when you are carrying so much additional weight in your body and that is where the joints start getting affected you get different deformities like knock knees bow legs because you have nutritional deficiency as well as obesity a lot of weight on your body and that is what causes these problems hip pain knee pain ankle pain these are all physical deformities because of obesity so those who have additional weight in their belly or overall in the body obesity the first thing they need to do is accept that this is a big problem and it is like a bomb waiting to explode till the time you are not diagnosed with anything serious you may not come to know you may not realize how it is affecting your life your body and your life of those who are dependent on you but now i would like to talk about this point is is weight of the body always the right parameter for checking your health and fitness the answer is yes and no both so let me explain how now if somebody is losing weight if that person is losing fat from the body let's say from the belly or any part of the body that person is losing fat in a healthy way then that is good thing losing fat but if the weight loss is because of bone loss because of muscle loss uh lo- losing water that is dehydration or any kind of degeneration in the body can be a bad thing even if you are losing weight the most common thing is muscle loss people lose muscle because of eating less and that's why they feel that okay i am losing weight that is good but no if you are losing muscle weight it is bad you should lose the fat in your body from your the fat which is below your skin so here you can see two people two men who are standing with the same height but both are same weight 80 kilos but one is muscular who does regular exercise and the other who is also 6 feet like this person 
but is not exercising and not eating properly and this is how he looks so he may be having less muscle in his arms in his legs and that's the reason his weight is similar but his weight is more of the belly fat that is the fat in his body which is unhealthy and causing trouble so weight gain can be muscle gain increase in bone density the bones are stronger and uh, hydration the water content is good in your body and fat gain so fat gain is not good that's why i have kept in red okay so weight is not always the right parameter but it could be a, a fair parameter when somebody is really overweight like the one in the left side that time losing weight will help but in a healthy way so coming back to the same fitness journey by age this is where fit seva can help a person first of all with awareness then assessment of how the person's life history has been the history of fitness history of health history in childhood everything then fit seva helps with the correction of the diet the workout plan what exercises you need to do tracking the progress every week which is very important uh reviewing that if a person has progress uh, uh, progressed or not that is also part of this journey so whether you come back on track from 30 to 39 or 40 to 49 that is that will make a difference in the progress but the earlier you correct yourself the better and this is how we help to get a person from this stage to the stage on the right that is on track optimal fitness high energy lean body high self esteem and confident so what we need to do is avoid the stage of above 50 which is given below uh, where you cannot reverse the problems because that is the stage when people are on medicines uh, and they cannot give up the medicines also because it is not so easy once you are in the trap of taking regular medicines this is how fit seva helps in different uh, steps the first is fitness assessment then we define the realistic goals what can be achieved in the what time uh, the nutrition correction lifestyle and habit changes and a customized exercise program which you can follow on your own at home or in the gym facility or in your clubhouse wherever you can because everything will work together to give you results as we discussed before now these are some of the people who took help of the same structure and saw the difference in their life and their health here we are seeing an example of 57 year old client who was on 97 kg and after 6 months 85 kilos you can see the smiling face on the right side rajesh ayer who was who is 40 years old he had obesity he was pre diabetic lack of strength lack lack of energy while playing playing tennis because he is a tennis player and this is what transformation he has done in just about 3 and a half months so now he has lost 16 kilos normal blood sugar highly energetic and plays tennis for uh recreation surjan kumar he had so many medical issues high cholesterol blood pressure pre diabetic low hemoglobin gut issues all are now pretty much sorted lost 10 kilos you can see the difference in the picture i have i asked him to wear the same t-shirt so that we can uh judge the difference in both the pictures mr rajiv kamboj from 99 kilos to 89 kilos in just 2 months with the help of a good plan which he followed very nicely religiously gained muscle strength good posture he had back pain which got almost resolved after 2 months with good exercise and good posture pravin raghuvanshi hr executive from 77 to 71 kg in 3 months now these all these are all our professionals who don't get time uh, to exercise or go to the gym regular basis but still 
after following the plan just on online they got these results you can see manish dargan mustafa telia uh, manish lost 6 kilos he looked more muscular and very fit mustafa who was on almost uh, 104 he came back to 86 uh, he is just 32 years old ashita sheikh lost 6 kilos but apart from losing weight she had a lot of problems lot of digestion issues which got resolved after the fitness plan severe digestion problems unable to enjoy the food you can see the picture on the left uh, where she has put on the weight that time she had other deficiencies because of not able to digest the food properly and the digestion was not proper because of the wrong eating habits or she was not knowing that whether she is eating proper or not she was thinking that she is eating properly but that self treatment for anything is not good i mean to carry on the same self treatment if you are not uh, sure what you are eating is proper or not sometimes even uh, doctors cannot judge that whether the problem is in nutrition or uh, the problem is some other thing but if the problem is in the diet and nutrition then that needs to be corrected and all her problems like weakness deficiencies gaining weight got resolved after the fitness plan so friends this is my vision and mission my vision is to have to see all the adults in their mid life with healthy lean and fit body i do not want to see people moving around with a obesity or health problems related to weight uh or having type 2 diabetes or even uh, pre diabetic because all these problems can be solved scientifically very easily if you follow the professional guidance properly it is not that difficult uh, and the later you do the more it is difficult to handle such situations so the only thing is you should take action and my mission is to help around 1 million such individuals uh, become lean and fit with the help of my fitness plans so with this i end this video thank you very much you can comment or message me at any time thank you